My name is John Festinger, and this is the video blog for News of the Week, November 19, 2014, in association with the Video Game Law course at the University of British Columbia's Faculty of Law. This week, we're going to talk about control and uh, the odd balances in attempted control that exist within the video game world. So in this week's News of the Week, uh, you'll see items 1 and 10. Um, one has to do with Ubisoft's way of controlling reviews for Assassin's Creed Unity. And what they did was um, make the journalists agree to embargo the reviews, if they wanted to do a review, until the day the game went on sale, which uh, for many gamers is much too late, and in fact was after um, pre-sales had been made, and, and in fact some stores opened at midnight, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, not surprisingly, uh, this was a precursor to um, rather average reviews for uh, Assassin's uh, for Assassin's Creed or the latest Assassin's Creed, um, suggesting that Ubisoft um, kind of knew that perhaps they uh, were not going to get the best reviews for Unity, and as uh, some of the articles suggest, this was a, a bit of a scheme. In any event, it was a scheme about control. Uh, another kind of control that video game developers exercise uh, is identified in item 10 of News of the Week, uh, a story called Breaking the Lock, Why All Game Content Should Be Unlocked from the Outset. I'll invite you to read it. I will say uh, that uh, as a sim racer myself, I've always loved the fact that real sims had all contact, uh, had all content unlocked right from the beginning, um, uh, but many other kinds of racing games did not, and that felt very frustrating to me. So those are the kinds of control mechanisms uh, that developers exercise. On the other side of the coin, um, I want to talk a little bit about government, um, and uh, I, I guess the, the basic premise here is um, how much can you object to what governments do in terms of control when you exercise your own kind of, of content control? So uh, two stories there. Um, under item two, you'll see that Dragon Age Inquisition um, is not going to be released in India because of local obscenity laws. There's some ambiguity as to whether um, certain scenes uh, that deal with homosexuality were the cause of that. Um, there seems to be a denial of that, but it, it looms in the background. Um, on the other hand, uh, Sweden is talking about labeling games that promote gender equality um, and, and using its governmental control for that purpose. So um, all of which is to say that video games continue to be a tableau on which uh, a variety of political, cultural, um, and other control games get played out. See you next week. Thanks for joining me.